Hello friends, in this video I will uh, talk about uh, or I will show you the things about the duties of a SOC analyst. So when you go for the interview of a SOC analyst with experience or of 2 to 5 years, you will be definitely asked about your duties or what the SOC analyst do, what was your role, what were you doing. So definitely this, these are the common questions that you will get in the interview. So I have some documentation related to that. So this material or this video you can use to prepare uh, the things. Okay, so don't exactly repeat whatever you see in this video. It is just for your information like you can uh, construct, uh, you can have your own kind of script in your mind by going through these things. Okay, you have to keep these things in the mind, but don't like, uh, like, tell uh, by heart this this thing and uh, uh, deliver the same thing to the interviewer because interviewer wants to check what you know in real uh, if if he feels like something you have by hearted or mug up or something defined thing or something from the internet you are telling so he will be like uh, have a doubt on you so just explain in your own words whatever you learned uh, here okay so manage alert notifications the primary job a SOC analyst do is like manage alerts or uh, handles alert okay so SOC analysts typically face an uh, onslaught of security alerts every day this can be security information and event management uh, that is from seam tools flagging alerts due to anomalies correct correlation rules or just regular alert configurations the SOC analyst looks into each instant and ascertains the cause. The analyst is the, the analyst is the crook. The analyst is uh, required to constantly differentiate between genuine threats and false alarms. Primary job of an analyst. There is always the risk of missing an important incident among the multitude of false alarms. Prevent a security attack. Okay, so this is the primary thing, prime responsibility of a SOC analyst who is responsible for uh, preventing and security attack by handling alert efficiently. Upon uh, detecting anomalies or upon detecting anomalous activity, the SOC analyst investigates it immediately and prevents the threat from weakening havoc on the network. This can involve detecting advanced persistent threats or APT or hidden malware on the network and weeding them out before they cause damage. For this, the analyst should be skilled enough to discern the activities that might be worth investigating from among the thousands of notifications that they receive. If they decide to pursue the incident, they should be able to find the relevant logs to help them construct a timeline of events that led to the incident. This requires the analyst to be familiar with the network topology and have sufficient experience handling security threats. Incident response. SOC analysts need to be able to get the company back upon its feet quickly after a cyber attack. This might be this might mean minimizing the extent of the attack by restricting its activity on the network. This also involves making decisions to limit the cost and recovery time of the attack. And also the primary thing that the SOC analysts do is threat hunting. SOC analysts need to proactively hunt for threats on the network. Threat hunting is conducted based on the information from the threat intelligence feeds, a constantly updated data of source that integrates information on various threat vectors, infected websites, recent cyber attacks, and so on. So depending on their experience level, that is the experience of a SOC analyst, a SOC analyst may be doing different things. These seniority levels are referred to as tires and there are specific duties associated with each tire. You may call it as tire or level. L1, L2, L3 are commonly used uh, terms for SOC analysis. So you were in L3, you will be uh, moved to L2 or you are in L1. So these are the level uh, levels which decides the managerial abilities or 
uh, the severity handling things okay whether you are at a manager level or you are at a lower level okay so these levels decides so that levels we had mentioned in terms of tier 1 tiers here so tier 1 this is the most junior position on the team this person would be responsible for monitoring the network using seam tools such as plank and responding to alerts about security incidents they also need to conduct triage and ascertain the seriousness of the alerts they should also perform periodic vulnerability scan on the network and generate assessment reports like what are all the vulnerabilities that has been recently recognized and how dangerous they are tier 2 this person is responsible for performing deeper analysis into the security incidents they coordinate with the threat intelligence team to understand the nature and extent of the attack they also have to come up with the ways to mitigate or remedy the attack so responsibilities are more and these roles tier 2 roles or l2 roles in SOC analyst are highly paid because their job is of much of importance tier 3 or l3 is a, a, a tier 3 or a, like l1 what we call in the SOC analyst it is a top managerial level job this level requires an experienced person who uses penetration testing tools to understand the vulnerabilities on the network they are also responsible for performing advanced threat hunting to detect potential threats hiding on the network so these are uh, the levels uh, that we have uh, in the <clears throat> uh, SOC analyst domain so each levels have their own responsibilities so job description of a SOC analyst okay so here I have uh, shown uh, some experience and duties of uh, a SOC analyst <clears throat> so coming to the experience uh, SOC analyst will be having an experience working in a network security role experience in using seam tools like Splunk ArcSight and have knowledge of endpoint detection and response EDR and in-depth understanding of the cyber threat landscape the vulnerabilities and risk and they are experienced in using forensic tools also and what are the duties of a SOC analyst? The duties are should be available to work in different ships around the clock, perform threat hunting and malware analysis periodically, educate oneself on existing and emerging cyber attacks, work closely with other departments to mitigate security incidents. So this is uh, or these are all the knowledge that you need to know. You will be asked about your duties, your role or what a SOC analyst do. So you will be asked about these things when you go with the experience, okay, when you want higher packages. So these are the questions that you may face in the interviews. Hope you like the video and the video was helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share this video among your friends and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.